Welcome again everyone for episode 15 and if you would like I don't know what I was gonna say I was thought I thought about preparing something like uh, you know like if you want me to make a short about something uh, which you liked like in an episode generally you can comment it down below and then I will see if I can make it and stuff but then I I don't know the inspiration just ran out uh, well, <laughs> what a start to an episode. Here we are, episode 15. Uh, if you're still with us or if you're just discovering the series, it's an honor. Uh, we are currently in a federation with... There we go, with those three purple guys. But... Oh! There we have a fallen empire. Nice. Oh. They would give us an artifact. Well, to be honest, let's take it. Um... Yeah, so those guys, the Jackley Free Traders, are vassal, so are the allied Scanurian constituents, and the Heron Union is just uh, another ally. We're currently planning. Oh, well, that's uh, going increasingly, incredibly fast, but I'm going to take this. Uh, yes, we're preparing for war against the Silver Death Lords. Uh, 556 fleet power, we are currently lurking around at half that, so not ideal. Um, plus our allies cannot get through to us because those guys have 5k which I mean is always useful but uh, there is no passage through here and also those guys over here so well the, the war would be ideally to create a connection with the other ally this is basically a must so we have some unemployment here that's not great um, I think we can resettle him to Kataria though yes where are you okay um, yeah, so all our plants are starting to get a bit, let's say, well, saturated. Um, I think I can replace this one. Mm, do I need the snow? They are good. Let's see. Um, well, I would need alloys, but uh, I'm already, like, maxing this out. So, a stronghold... Well, I could go research labs, but then we would be losing, in theory... 12 and then another oh that's uh i'm gonna keep this over here um maybe go commercial zones just to give the trade um yeah okay this was gonna happen also i noticed yeah you know what i'm going to go research although should we maybe go administrative uh how is our research coming Oof. yeah we need the research okay this is settled then Okay, um, so who subjugated whom? Okay, so he keeps building his uh, nice sphere, the Iranian Union. My god, all those words are so compact. That's uh, really impressive. And I have one va uh, one vessel, no, uh, one envoy free. Uh, sometimes they will just like sort of jump out of where, where they are, what they are supposed to do. Um, okay, no... So, yeah, I'm just... I was busy improving relations, I think. Um, but let's just see what the spy network is doing. Because we have a bit of influence to spend. So, those guys. Yeah, let's go for another asset. Always a good idea. Um, yo, those are very important. Mm, I don't want to arm privateers because they really... Never did anything great for me, at least. Um... Sabotaging a star base is probably what we'll, we will be doing uh, rather soon, well, as, as soon as we do declare war on them. Um, yeah, they're still at war. Are they technologically... They're equivalent. Well, I mean, let's try this out. Why not? I mean, we have uh, the right asset for this. Asset for this. Um, yes, I remember why those were there. Uh Yo, what a mixture. And they have, yeah, 1k, 1K fleet power, so let's just grab ourselves an asset. And those guys, Cyber the Dictatorship, they were the Scholarium, exactly. So, yeah, we will definitely... They are very... Oh, fuck. Damn, well, at least they went full on the encryption uh, and not on the code breaking, so... But, damn, that's very, very, very much overkill but uh yeah okay uh so we will keep up building corvettes we will just literally spam those out uh, on this planet 
Yeah, well, this is not ideal. We really need the tech to just clear all those things. Um, also, yeah, so the unity, the happiness and everything is down. Uh, for the simple reason, we conquered them, but in 1.6 years, so 71, roughly in one year, maybe even 172. Uh, this will be gone, so, you know. Also, we built this, um, so the hangar base and the torpedo base, so what do we have? Yeah, one basic strike craft and one space, top, two space torpedoes, so... Yeah, you know, for three gun batteries, we get all of those, so... I feel like the gun batteries are worth a bit, uh, like, a bit more useful. Um, also... Let's put the communication jammer in and just add, uh, let's, let's go with the, yeah, our monolification. Okay. Yeah, because the thing is, the silver death lords are at war with the Dahesh galactic hegemony. The question now is, why did they stop conquering them? Because they, like, they took all those five systems, yeah, and then they just stopped, and their fleet was, like, stationed there. And so the question is, why? Also, we got just a second secret fealty. -E. Can we... Oh, yeah, both would join. Oh, this, this would be nice, to be honest. But, yeah, again, same problem. Um, our allies wouldn't be able to travel through here, and, like, a 4k fleet, yeah, 8k, basically, would be stuck over here. And uh, those guys too. So this we have to we have to eliminate the silver. They have twice of the wait. We have something to vote in the Senate. Okay, I feel like the 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 Katzen Emperor will just declare war on everyone because yeah they are down here currently. Um, but yeah, since it currently the galactic community is just working to uh, po uh, to recognize their illegal actions, I feel like rather soon. We might have a problem on our hands, but uh, yeah. Okay, also, I wanted to check the fleet power. Mm. No, yeah, from a diplo weight. Okay, so I had like two, 200, 250. They have 140, okay. And they have 60. And they, they have... Yeah, 40, 40, 50 as well. So yeah, the problem I'm seeing is that basically... Also, I don't understand why they are. They are Mega Corp, and we are... Where's our... Didn't we have, like, a trade agreement, or is this, like, automatically? Because this would explain why they don't building branch offices. Damn, the double agents here doing really great work. Uh, this would explain why they don't have uh, branch offices. But still, it's like... Surprising that they didn't because they are Mercatorum. And, you know. Okay, let's build... A colony ship here. And then let's rename... Uh, Substranius... Substranius 1. Okay, so we have a leader here. We don't have one here. They're making a board world, factory world. Mm. Yeah, they are also full. So yeah, we are literally overflowing on all the planets right now. We have still many jobs available on our... Um, mm, on our capital. So this is at least great. But uh, yeah. Not not ideal, so to say. Um, we are going to pro to progressively transform all of those uh, other districts into uh, city or industrial ones because we will be making turning the plant into an arcology as soon as we can. So that's planned. Uh, the problem is, oh, I didn't even build this one back in the day. Uh, the problem is, yeah. Um, well, not really a problem, but um, we will lose a certain revenue, but this is actually totally acceptable because 
we will be losing like two jobs from this but getting one back from the housing district from the clerk and then like if we build like something like a commercial zone we will be totally fine also resettling this one yeah um yeah i'm really playing with the idea of making habitats although i'm not really usually a habitat fan um yeah okay i'm not surprised by this uh yeah close this to okay you are so weak and i don't even know where you are so establish embassy where are we now okay we're over here so yeah in this space like in this area i feel like there's a lot of war going on damn they increased again so this is really going quick and uh yeah so sort of not ideal also oh damn look look at who's here they have cloaking i think or maybe they managed to defeat the garden who was there or because that's like a 20k garden over here so i would be surprised or may is it maybe luck i don't know interesting at least well 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 how was the hyperlane there okay um they are economically superior so i am so scared of this empire uh research secured that's nice okay um holographic casts or we could give us backdoor so for two years 10 percent um but it would destroy the asset mm. is 10 percent would this really be that much uh, because for two years you know what i think i'm gonna take it because we have the asset and so yeah we can see it it didn't make like this much of an impact but it still made like this technology one month close and everything but yeah that just i mean while we are at it and yeah then we're gonna acquire a new asset over here okay i feel like we can change our policy by the way back uh so where was it espionage we go from oh we can pick the shadow agents now so you know what let's pick the shadow agents that's a, that's a really neat one uh science yes okay yeah i feel like everything as it is is rather nice mm. yeah let's I think, to be honest, we are good for everything like this, currently. Um, oh, they go to war against the associated Imurian. Oh, are those, those guys? Yes. Okay. So, congrats, you're the first guy to, going, to go to war with the Katznatikis Imperium. Also, they have 500 from the fleets. So, oh boy, I feel bad for us. <laughs> because we don't even have 500, so... Um... Should we send an attaché? Um, well, to be honest, nah, it's not worth it right now. They are very equivalent to us. That's uh, that's what's scaring me. But they seem to be in an alliance. Uh, no, they are just associate. Okay. Um, what can we do here? Can we purchase some ships? Ooh. For 15k we could purchase a, purchase a cruiser. Um Yeah, let's go with the the Katzenpanzer. The, uh, the the space tank as you would call it normally. So, yeah, they will arrive in a bit but they only cost 5k and I mean, look, we're currently building corvettes, so there's nothing bad with the idea to just buy some ships, make the empire which might rule the galaxy a bit stronger and uh, you know everything will be fine hopefully we can maybe assure you it's not certain though so who knows um, yeah so if for example we would want to go around those two empires because I, I'm pretty sure they will federate anytime soon 
Uh, we would need to be friends with this one. Which actually is possible. Well, I don't want them in my alliance, but, uh, you know. Hey, only 1.6k? Are you kidding me? But damn! Okay, okay, they ain't so bad. Uh, let's just make this into the... What do we have already? We have the first, we have the second. So... Let's make this into the... Third... Katzen and what are they all? Void wings. Okay. That's not for. Construction project there we go. Concluded. Okay, and we might need a new commander. Uh, first and second fleet. This counts slightly the experience gain. That's a neat one. Mm. No, I don't want this trade. Ship fire rate. This might be an interesting one, but he's the oldest of them all. Um. Wait, this reminds me. Let me just check. Or let us just check what our con uh, what our um, where are they? I really don't like this menu. It's crazy how many times they're getting lost in there. Okay, so officials, we are having three out of three. Um, yeah, you are there. You are leading this, and you are representing us in the galactic community. Okay, commanders. Um, yeah, they're. This one is very old, but this one is the Minister of Defense. Mm. I feel like this one would be the right guy to hire. And now for the scientists, we're having two guys. One is our Emperor, so, well, not really... Uh, not really a scientist, because, you know, he's maybe, like, ruling the Empire. Um... But this one, I, I would like to take this one because he has one trait to pick. He's level 2 also. Um, and he gives this nice perk of unity from jobs. But this one is really younger, like 14 years younger. And like this one we would keep him for, I mean that's quite a lot. So I feel like we're going to take this one. Uh, yes, okay. Now let's check our government real quick. So this is our Minister of Defense. Um, he just gives us the sublight bonus, so... Let's replace him with this guy, because he's really young, and so he will have really time like to evolve. Um, also, yeah, having Eye for Talent in the council, for me it seems like a must. Mm, could I pick... This guy? Oh yeah, I totally could. Oh yeah, and now I cannot pick our leader back. Like, oh, uh, okay. Well, maybe it's for the best. It, I, I think it still was a bug, so... You know. Uh, now we just have to give him... The fleet. And the other one... Okay, what, did, what was your deal? Trade value, okay, that's nice. And growth speed. But that's like as a counselor, okay. Uh, energy, okay... Mm, the thing is he gives unity and I don't really have a planet which is like specializing on unity so although this one but well, you know what yeah this one seems to be a good fit although no it wasn't it was the build speed okay I didn't pick him in the end true 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 well 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 uh, but at least now he has a planet to govern and that's a good thing and um, let's just check back in with those guys um, okay we have to wait for six months uh, so let's just keep this going and let's see what the resistance is doing. Okay, so they're having a f some nice resources. Let's... Mm, yeah, send some funds. Uh, so what do we have here? Army damage, shield hit points, ship speed. I feel like ship speed is a really good one. Uh, let's use two resistance because 80% seems to be rather good and the other one... They are high, damn. Okay, so the cats are getting some really neat uh, penalties. Um, and yeah, let's... Uh... Okay, so we would have to send them many resources for this. Um, what about the supply depot? Really? I thought you were... You were, like, already 
having a high level of activity, therefore you wouldn't need this many resources, but I mean like, you know, the other one they have like this uh, counter, so. Um, okay, the uprising can't be triggered yet, but I, I wouldn't want to trigger it just now. I mean like, where's the fun in that? Mm, also leader upgrade. Oh, this one. Okay, nice. Um, I feel like this one is the food one. I mean, it just gives 2% extra growth. Meanwhile, it gives 10% trade focus. So, I mean, it's quite the difference. Mm, where do we have this one? The Nandis. Yes. Uh, operation successful. Awesome. Uh, okay, here we're building the research lab, so this is nice. This is really good for us. Uh, because, yeah, more technology research is right now what we need. Um, yes, on Kataria, we are transforming those. Mm. And that's a tough choice now. I mean, technically, we could just make an alloy foundry. Um, actually, how much? 64. So if we were to lose half of that Research from converting the capital back into an empire capital. Um, I want to see what the economic implications would be because we would lose a lot of uh, consumer goods, but also gain a lot of alloys. And we will just make the commercial zones for the jobs. Uh, yes, new sensors, nice. Uh, oh, this is a good one, but it costs a lot. So let's go with the detection array because we don't want to fall too much back. Oh, and yeah, we can still, still see they have 21k, uh, maybe even 22. And we just have like, yeah, 14, yeah, 15 max. Um, yeah, and we also should be upgrading this one soon. Uh, so I think, I think, why don't they move? Why are they still in orbit over this planet? I think, uh, should I, should I like intervene and make them move? Because it's been a while there, seems to be like stuck over this planet and it really seems like a bug to be honest. Um, so yeah, you know what? Okay, we're gonna intervene. This is my decision. We're gonna save before it. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna show you everything I do so you can uh, see. Okay, so uh, console. Okay, there we go. And where was it? The box tooltip. Okay, that's really neat. Okay, then we have tag ID 46. I will not look. Also, I will say this before we are going into the console. We will not be taking advantage of anything. We will not be looking at anything they do. Um, can I? Yes, I'm going to hide this like this. So I will try to see the least of things possible and not gain any knowledge on this empire, which is obviously an enemy empire, but it seems to be stuck. Also, just before we go in, we also see right now, I didn't do anything. Anything. We see that they have another 6 5k fleet, 6 to 5k. Uh, yeah, 5.3, you get my drift. Over here okay so we're going in and the only goal will be to move this fleet like just make it like attack this system to launch their war again because they seem to be stuck and it's been like literally two episodes i think they didn't move it so just so you know okay so there we go no i don't look at it okay now we take those we send them over here this one i don't look at you okay and now Situation Tag zero, we, di we do this, and okay, and now we are one day later, we are going save again, so if the game crashes, we will have done this. Okay, and 20 minutes to go in the episode. Alright, so unknown orders, let's see. Okay, so they are now moving because we gave the order. Uh, the question is, will it make them go back into war? Will it make them back? 
turn them back to normal, so to speak. So we will see. Okay, I think maybe it's a bug because the system where the systems weren't discovered like by a science ship, so maybe they thought, oh no, we can't go there. Okay, now we're making consumer goods deficit. But this might be not so bad because we're making also a ton of alloys now. So you know. Also, since we're making a ton of money, I thought about this. We will be cancelling. Uh, plus 13, so yeah, like this. Uh, the auto sell we would, which we were having, so we can make now those resources monthly because we're going to need them. And also we didn't need like, like we were making 500 energy credits, so you know. Okay, another spy. Okay, so death lead already moved. Okay, and now they're attacking. Yes. There we go. We will see if they get stuck again, but they shouldn't. And this is here the factory world. Um, yeah, I don't have the dangerous wildlife remover, which really would be helpful because it would give us two more, um, yeah, two more districts to build. But unfortunately, we don't have it right now. Okay, there we go. And yeah, we will get the Star Fortress in just 15 months. So yeah, we will be building a lot of research right now. Okay, also... Can I build, replace the hydroponics maybe? Um, no, we don't have the, oh yeah, there, there's listening post. Uh, yeah, let's replace the armor nullification because I'd rather know what's happening. Um, yes, we got a spy. Okay, not gonna touch this anymore. Um, are the six months already over so we can buy new ships from our favorite drug uh, drug not drug dealer of course not ship dealer um let's take this one this time uh the bombardment cruiser ships thingy i didn't even read the name to be honest i just saw the that it was 5k 10k 15k um build new ships of over here um bum, bum, bum. yeah i think the first if we get the technology we'll just upgrade all all of our wonderful uh bunker stations the most important ones um okay so the fleet is not here anymore so i guess oh yeah there it is they conquered this one uh, so the question now is will yes their fleet is going over there okay so yeah they were indeed stuck i can confirm it now they were just stuck on this world which they obliterated literally obliterated and uh, so yeah okay cats and ship arrive great oh yeah so it's the leer katzen bomber so it's basically the space bombers they will fusion with them and for 10k we literally bought 1.3k well, this feels like a waste of money. Um, but yeah, on the other side, we bought 1.6k for 5k. Uh, so I think we'll just be buying the 5k ships in the future. Uh, yeah. Okay, another colony ship going down. So the the lobster is lo is landing. I repeat, the lobster will be landing. And now. So this planet will be, f will fall shortly. The idea will be literally, if. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Take point. Yes. Uh, so yeah, literally, the idea will be. Our allies have really been pumping out new ships. That's nice. Um, if they reach their capital, if they reach Bright Pool, which really doesn't sound like a system name, but here we are. By the way, did I create this empire by accident? It does not seem that I did. Good. Okay. This is 5k, yes. If they are there, the idea will be to... First of all, okay, if they have 6k... Okay, so the corvettes will need to stay here. Um, oh boy. There we go. The Katsunatikus Imperium going at it again. Okay, so we have the first... Allied fleet. There we have it. Uh, they will follow our main fleet. 
Then we have our second fleet, the Corvette Spam, which will stay here. And the third one, I didn't decide what they will be doing. But since they are already 3k with only so few ships, they will also follow the main fleet. They are important. They are actually impressively good ships. Like, sheesh. I mean, like, literally. Also, the model is really funny. Um, but yeah, we will be taking them with us. The third fleet will be over here. We wouldn't actually another commander. Would be really useful. Um, wait, you were... Oh yeah, you were the ground commander. Actually, I could put him over here. Um, but yeah, he will basically, hopefully, lead this fleet to us. So I'm gonna put them over here. And the second ally fleet will literally do nothing. Because they won't be able to reach us, so they will stay over here neatly packed. And that's gonna be it. Okay. Um, but yeah, the idea will be to have one force on the right hand side to defend. And the other one uh, to rejoin with the allies. Okay, well they became materialists, that's nice. But they are not really big, so... Well, but at least that's a that's a nice start. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the idea will be to um, attack from both sides. And to then just, like, rejoin forces with the allies. Because they have 3k. This is, this is basically 5k over here. And then our allies over here are having 2k, so 7k. And this could be enough for us. For us. <laughs> there we go. Um, 14k, 7k, 21k, yeah. This could, in theory, be enough to at least stop them from attacking us, which would block their fleet. And if their fleet is blocked, we can then launch the offensive and maybe rejoin, or maybe, like, even let them run into our, allied, our allies, because, well, I'd rather have them run into our allies than us, if I'm being honest here. Um, so, yes. Also, they are still upgrading... Yeah, those cruisers aren't very pretty. Let's be honest here. Um, bum bum bum. Yes. Another day. Okay, Another thanks for the notification, but could you maybe just show me an image of which leader is meant? Uh, this one. Coming the second par paratroopers. What are you? You're a commander, but you're not even on the council. You're not a governor either. Uh... Military fleet. Mm. To be honest, I'm just gonna give him the strategist because if he ends up on the council, then at least uh, he will have a good uh, a good trade. Okay, yes, we finally got this one. Now we have the asteroid manufacturing. Oh, that's this is nice. Uh, do we need this one? We would need this one. Mm. Okay, so we have gene tailoring for 19k. We also have the blocker for 4k. And then we have the asteroid. But this is taking roughly 188. Yeah, let's just go with 18 months. It's not taking too long. It's a good start. We will need it for the planet. So no regrets there. Um, also, removing this one. Yes. Also, why are you being built? I want those guys. Resettle. And off to Kataria you go, lucky pal. This one here. Yes, remove the volcano as well. Finally some good progress. Construction oh boy, oh boy. Okay, construction project concluded. Okay, so now we have the listening post, which tells me there's a... Oh, they're moving their 5k. That's nice. Mm, if we are able... Because, yeah, what's this one? 2.5. To be honest, would it be possible to use the Corvette Force of 3.2k and the Katzen Force, which makes 6k? But the problem is we would need them, actually. And also, if they're moving this fleet, we can then move it around. Yeah. Wait, do we not have a... That's not ideal. Mm. Oh, because he's coming the first ally fleet. Okay, then here you go. Yeah. 
I can upgrade those real quick. Oh no, wait. And okay, one cruiser to go. But yeah, then it's gonna be finally time. Finally time to move. Uh really, really took a long time. Mm, to be honest, I would be tempted to just slap one of those um, strongholds on it. But knowing their bombardment strength... Uh, oh, nice! Someone gave them the resources to do it. But yeah, knowing the strength of their bombardment, I don't feel like there would even be a chance or like a reasonable reason for us um, to, to try to defend just like the best strategy would be don't let your planets into their reach and yeah we could of course also try to simply go here and rush them to uh, kill them uh who would you say economically but the thing is yeah first of all 1k garrison second of all i would much rather be at silence on this front because the thing is if we go attack here, their fleet is over here. So they could very well just come the other way around, go through here. Although, can they? Oh no, they can't. Okay, so they could still conquer this planet and then just punch us away. And I would really much want our fleets to be uh, united with the allied ones. Yes, installed cybernetics. There we go. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go with the unity right now. Yeah, let's go with the unity so we will get those a bit quicker. Three months. Okay, that's nice. Um, yeah, we are really currently the powerhouse uh, federation wise. Ironically, because the Huron Union had such a big fleet. Where did, where did it go? It literally just vanished. But, uh, well. Diplomatic contributions. Well, I mean, it would be a yes, so... <laughs> Um, let's just check this one. Yeah, no, I mean, everyone should be building the ships because I'm building none, so, you know. Um, I really want this highest capacity, but um, 0.5. Really? We're losing? Oh, okay, now we're getting creation again. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, let's just keep this going to the max, okay. Um, weren't you a leader? Yes. Well, you have to stop getting those negative traits made. Embassy recall, well, okay, it happens. Uh, you are commanding our fleet, the first. Okay, so you can only get one trait. Yeah, mate, I mean, come on, this... You were intolerance and passivity. I mean, come on. Your heir is doing a better job than you. Well, at least he has nice traits uh, overall, but I mean, still. Yeah, but they are disabled when he is a ruler, so. Mm. Okay, there's their 27k fleets. Fuck me. Are they going to peace out, by the way? Because it doesn't seem like it. What are they doing here? Ah, yes. Of course. Just chilling over here. I always do the same. I'm gonna upgrade this building, by the way. And... <laughs> yeah, they are... Scientist needs assistance. Well, okay. There we go. Base intel level plus 10. Uh, I think I'm going to pick the eminent diplomats afterwards and then go with the direct diplomacy. So this one will be done too and we'll get even one more extra envoy, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, why are they not moving? Why are they again not moving? Okay, the construction sh uh, ship is moving, is moving. Oh, nice! They finally built the first their first uh, branch office. They are really getting a lot of money out of this, but uh, that's what they are for, that's nice. And also it's gonna give us some few extra jobs, so that's always appreciated. We will 
not hesitate. We will literally slap more industrial uh, districts on it. Let's be honest here. And for this one, oops, sorry, paused it. Um, I think um, the thing is for the jobs. I feel like we should be building the commercial zones because it gives us three jobs. On the other hand, I really feel like something like unity or technology related would be useful because, well, we're a bit lacking behind. The thing is, those are jobs easily filled. So, yeah, I'm just going to pick the commercial zones because like every planet is literally overflowing right now. So we will need the jobs and I think the amount of jobs matters most right now. Um, are they already building something? Okay, no. Uh, actually, I don't know why, but playing this uh, really made me want to build, uh, to play as a megacorp, like the pirate megacorp, and just literally just go nuts on the universe, like literally made criminality 1000% everywhere. Um, so, we have two envoys now to spare. Where are they coming from? But I'm not complaining. I'm going to be honest here. I'm happy that we have so many. Um, oh, we see what they are. Okay, are they weak? Oh, you are weak and so big. Holy shit. You would make a fine vessel. You are making a disgusting noise. Oh, damn. They're already having the, the star fortress. The next step and damn it they're definitely playing tall if not by choice by obligation but uh and what's this oh they're building an asteroid manufacturing site damn okay so the technology which will still take us like 90 months to get the uh, ai already has that's a big issue it's really a big issue okay mm, let's go acquire an asset here over here I want to vassalize you, but we cannot right now. Why do we have so much trust, by the way, with you guys? I mean, we don't have any treaties and you have closed borders, so... I never closed the borders on you, actually. Well, psych. Um, okay, let's get this game running again. Mm, so yeah, this empire is really big. We were getting friendly with those guys. Oh, the galactic community recognizes the Rokalian Republic. By decree of the Galactic Senate. Damn. Okay. Well, that's nice because it gives us a few bonuses. But we also lose some opinions, so that's... Wait, can I just... Before I'm doing this, mm, there we go, and I hear some ships while we're at it. Okay, so yeah, now the partisan activity increases by one everywhere on the map. Okay, that's great, um, and also by two in some areas. Uh, the Exeter influence will run two resistance instead of one. Nice, and we get some uh, some neat influence on it too. So that's great. Okay, so yeah, oh boy, the map really looks different different now. And we are going mm, to tell them to raid one. Okay, yeah, so I think for now the best is to just deal with their ship speed. Make them slower, like really slow. And yeah, because the slower they are, the more time we have. And that's the best for us, basically. Okay, the ships will also arrive shortly. Uh, yes, so the readiness shield, great. And, 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 and let me just check. Yeah, so there's already another one, I think. We love that there are some propositions who are just like low on the list. Mm. find the host for the galactic senate to be honest i would be for that uh, the thing is i want mine to be above it but i think like if people Research vote for it 
it will just uh, deal with itself on its own. Let's do this. Raid was successful. Nice. Star Fortress, here we are. And... Oh, that's the timer. Let me just finish this episode. So, actually, I think we should be going with the Mega Forges. Because I really want to do the habitats, but 60 months, 72... And this one we already have a head start. So the foundries will be nice because it also gives us the bonus on uh, on the planets or on the on the spaceports as a module. So yes, they are fusioning. And okay, they want to be upgraded too. Let's do this real quick. Okay. They are following, they are following, they are following. So yeah, my first fleet. They have, they have to upgrade again? Damn it, guys. This is also a shame in this game, that they cannot, like, say, upgrade, and then just we upgrade everything at once. Okay. And now the first fleet will be moving out for war. Um, although, knowing that the enemies are literally in the next system might not be the child move. Ah, but the thing is, if we declare war on them, we will be losing this system. Let's just put them here. Maybe try to lure them out. Also... Star Fortress, we still need 95. Let's just wait for the month to end. This will be in just a second. We're missing three. Are you kidding me? There we go. Yes, and here we are upgrading. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, with this, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This was episode 15 coming out. Well, it should be coming out on Friday. Uh, today is the 30th, 30th of April, by the way. Uh, so I'm trying to record many as many episodes as possible before the update because afterwards um, As you might know it will be probably breaking like everything uh, so yeah, I'm trying to Get everything out ASAP like to record it in advance So I hope you're enjoying this series uh, and enjoying the episodes and I hope to of course see you for the next one. Have a nice one. Bye